All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're talking about PayPal, more specifically PYPY, which is the Yield Max PayPal Option Income Strategy ETF. The reason why we're talking about this 31% yielding fund currently is because I do think that PYPY is set for a potential breakout, not only in the share price here, but in the underlying stock of PayPal. And why I wanna show you guys why it might be a interesting investment opportunity if you're looking to get some similar returns to stocks like Square or Kony with the massive 100% dividend yield. So I'm gonna go over why the share price of PayPal could potentially really explode and also the yield max version PYPY could explode, but also the, the dividends the yield could explode. So I'm going to get into that in this video. We're going to get into PayPal's financials as well. We'll talk a little bit about that to make sure it's a good company. So all around a sound investment. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. We're currently up to 3,735 subscribers. So I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I did make a video about Clip the last time and you guys clearly are not super huge fans of Clip. I totally understand why. You know what? Anything when you're investing overseas in China, the government could have heavily regulated its sector or the stock itself and it's very risky so i want to say i appreciate all the amazing comments that you guys have put i'm going to keep them in mind i still do like clip but this video today is not about clip this video today is about pypy so that is what we'll get into so the reason why i think that pypy is set for a breakout is just due to the fact that the underlying holding paypal has a really fantastic stock price chart. So now what I wanna show you here is look at this downtrend that PYPY is on PayPal. So you can see here is about $85. If I go over to the past five years, it has a very, a very similar actually stock price to SQY, but you can see here that it's been trending down since about 2021, just after COVID, but going out to the year, it was at $85. Then it kind of went down to about $74. Obviously had a massive trend down there, down to if we could even see that marker i just need to go back on here it had a massive trend down down to about 60 dollars but we're not so concerned about that what we're concerned about is this lateral line going going down we're looking at 85 dollars then about 76 dollars back down to 73 dollars down here all the way to 61 and the reason why i point this out is because i actually seen on a weeble chat this line right here and i thought this was very interesting this is a stock price of paypal over the last about a year or so and you can see how it's trended down in a pretty much vertical line and at this point right here if we are able to break through this point which is set to about 70 or sorry 65 dollars 65 dollars or so if we could break through 65 or 70 dollars we could potentially get out of this long-term bearish trend and send paypal into a bullish trend which would obviously be great for the underlying yield max version if we were to get into a bull trend, we might see something like SQY or like Kony <clears throat> due to the fact that the underlying stock could potentially go up to markers as high as we could see potentially $80, $75 in the near future. As long as it's able to break through this $65 barrier, we could see prices as high as that. Or if we do potentially have a really good breakout, we could see prices break through this $95 level here, hit about maybe 115 or all the way up to 175. So that could potentially be for PayPal. Now, when looking at PayPal, we want to make sure the underlying company is good. Now, I'm sure you guys are all aware what PayPal does, so I'm not necessarily going to go into it. They're online transactor of money. They make it easy for people to transact money across the world with relatively low fees. I have used PayPal. They do have some fees, but it's a decently good platform. It was actually created by Elon Musk, who co-founded PayPal way back in the day. You could see his hair is pretty whack here, but that's just a little history about PayPal right there. I don't currently own any, but what I do own and what I do want to bring to your attention is also Square because Square is an investment that I feel is very similar to PayPal in terms of kind of the stock price chart and Square has done pretty well for me and if PayPal is able to continue on this trend like Square, then we could potentially see returns like Square and then a potential dividend like Square, not in the 30% range, but more in the 70 to 100% range. I think that might be very interesting. And that's the whole reason I wanted to bring it to your attention. Now, one thing I do want to mention is their financials. You could see here that over the past three years or so, it's been growing very nicely from 17 all the way up to $27 billion. 
let's see their operating income. Yep, it's growing every single year. Net income, pretty much the same thing. There's a little bit of a slope off here in 2022, but we can get into that. That's no problem. What we do want to see is though quarter over quarter, we want to see growing revenues because that's just an indication the business is growing every single quarter. Now, I'm actually just looking at these for the first time, so I have not really checked everything over. You can see, well, we're gonna check it over now. We can see their total assets going up to $80 billion. Just wanna check actual market cap. So about, okay, $67 billion. So we're not even hitting the full total assets of this company in the market cap, which is also a good sign to see, which I kind of like. And you can see here with the total assets going, we have the total liabilities going, but there is some buffer in there. So of about 20 mil, $20 billion or so. So that's that's a decent market to see. We can also see on the right here that they're beating all the analyst estimates, which is another great sign to see. Now going to their cash flow, we could see cash provided by operations obviously growing every single month. Free cash flow obviously growing every single month as well, which is great to see. And they are currently reinvesting. They're, they actually took out a lot of money from the company, but they're reinvesting right here, as you can see with this negative. So that is a great sign to see. So overall, I think PayPal's kind of financials are doing pretty well. They're in a good position. They're growing, but their stock chart obviously does not reflect this as they've been in a downtrend for a very long while. Now, I do think this is subject to change. It's, I think, a matter of when, not if. If your company's growing obviously your stock price should be growing with it. Your earnings are growing, your stock price should be growing with it as the business grows. So that is just a little update on PYPY and also the underlying holding PayPal, why I think there's a potential breakout could lead to dividend yields as high as SQY and similar price appreciations as SQY. So I wanted to bring this to your attention. Just watch for if it breaks out of this 65 to $70 marker here in the next little while for paypal and that could potentially mean a bullish run is on the way so i want to say thank you guys to watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video worth the 3735 subscribers if you did enjoy please do remember to subscribe i'll give you awesome stock updates like this it's free to subscribe and hopefully this will help you make some money in the future so if you guys do enjoy do exactly that like comment anything you guys want i hope you guys do take care and i will see you guys in the next one